Hey everybody, I'm Joe Hirsch and it's great to be learning with you for part two of our series on Malkut, Court Imposed Lashes. Previously we learned that when witnesses become Zomamim, their testimony is discredited and they are subject to the very same consequence that they try to impose on another individual. This keeps with the Torah's description of Vyasitam lo kasher zamam lasot leachiv. Do to these discredited witnesses what they try to do to another individual. There are times, however, when a reciprocated punishment can't be given out. This is called edut shiatayacho lahazima, testimony that once it is discredited, cannot be met with the very same punishment that they try to impose. A classic case occurs when two witnesses who are kohanim try to discredit the status of another kohen, and they cannot receive the same punishment that they try to impose on that fellow kohen for reasons that we've explored previously. In turn, they receive a consequence of malkut, which the court hands out in multiples of three anywhere from three on the low end of the range to 39 on the high end of the range. We determine how many lashes each of these witnesses receives based on his relative fitness. Weaker people would receive the low end, three. More fit people would receive the higher end of 39. It is important to note, however, that Baitin is always going to lowball the figure. So that if, for example, each of these discredited witnesses is deemed subject to, let's say, 20 lashes, we would lowball that to 18, the lower range of three as a multiple, instead of the high range of 21. Furthermore, if these individuals, once they begin to become whipped, show signs of fatigue or pain, we stop whipping them at the moment they show signs of physical pain. The reasons for this will be explored in an upcoming lesson, which will help us understand some of the limitations legally and textually of Malkud, court-imposed lashes.